God morgen alle sammen. Jeg håber, I kan høre, hvad jeg siger. Eller god morgen. God formiddag på sådan en dejlig torsdag formiddag. Vi skal i dag tale om uh, Sustainable Customizations og hvordan vi optimerer dine processer i din uh, SuperOffice løsning. I dag er det uh, version 2. For 14 dage siden holdt vi version 1, som handlede meget om, hvad der kan ske inde i SuperOffice. Og i dag der udvider vi den lidt og taler blandt andet om automatisere processer, ja, det er det overskriften er, men også i forhold til de eksterne øh, integrationer til øh, andre applikationer. Lidt praktisk, inden webinaret starter, så vil jeg informere om, at webinaret bliver optaget. Så kan du og dine kollegaer øh, tilgå webinaret efterfølgende on demand, og vi sender dig et øh, link senere. Du er meget velkommen til at skrive til os over i chatten. Der kan du skrive spørgsmål eller kommentarer. Nu er klokken blevet over 10, og jeg forventer, at alle kan høre og se mig. Og ellers så er det over i chatten, det går jeg ud fra, at folk er med på. Mit navn er Jonas Kallan Langvad, og jeg har i en årrække beskæftiget mig meget med sustainability i SuperOffice. Jeg har været Head of Sustainability, og vi har arbejdet med forskellige måder, hvordan vi gerne vil blive mere bæredygtige. En af de måder, vi er kommet frem til at blive mere bæredygtige på, det er det, vi gennemgår i dag, i forlængelse af det, vi gennemgik for 14 dage siden i version 1 af, det her web- af den her webinarrække. I stod også på mig generelt derude, for jeg, har, jeg er ude og besøge rigtig mange af jer kunder i Danmark, og derfor så, så kender nogle af jer mig måske allerede. I SuperOffice supporterer vi UN Global Compact. Det har vi skrevet os op til, og vi er forpligtet til at, at rapportere og øh, beregne øh, vores øh, udledning, og både i forhold til CO2 og klimaaftrykket, men også i forhold til en, en række sociale faktorer, som jeg ikke vil komme nærmere ind på i dag, men I kan selv undersøge UN Global Compact. Det er et stort øh, program, som FN jo øh, styrer, og det har vi signet op til at øh, supportere. Omkring FN's 17 verdensmål, der øh, arbejder vi en del med øh, verdensmål nummer 9, og en af de ting, vi skal arbejde med i dag, det er det projekt Zero Footprint, som vi kalder det hos SuperOffice, der gerne skulle sikre, at vi eliminerer lokalt installeret software. Og hvorfor er det vigtigt, at vi eliminerer lokalt installeret software? Jo, det er der er flere forskellige årsager. Et er klimaaftrykket, det vil jeg ikke komme nærmere ind på. Men to, det er den fordel, I har ude hos jer. I sikrer, at ingen bruger skal opgradere et øh, lille bitte lokalt installeret software på sin egen PC. I sikrer, at jeres løsning altid er opdateret, øh, uanset om det gælder SuperOffice i clouden, eller om det gælder nogle af de integrationsmuligheder, øh, der også ligger i clouden, øh, blandt andet Zapier, som vi skal hilse på lidt senere i dag. Når vi sikrer, at de har, for det første, at vi arbejder med cloud-applikationer, og vi også integrerer øh, cloud to cloud, og vi ikke har noget øh, lokalt installeret software, så giver det os en række fordele rent konfigurationsmæssigt, og vi sikrer, at I altid er på den øh, nyeste software og har de nyeste og bedste øh, muligheder. Der er også et andet øh, element, der er vigtigt for os. Vi vil rigtig gerne hjælpe jer øh, kunder med at tage bæredygtige beslutninger. For vi tror på, at når I træffer beslutninger på baggrund af, af den her bæredygtighedsmæssige tilgang, så er I i stand til at levere en bedre forretning. I er i stand til at give jeres kunder øh, øh, bedre øh, leverancer. I, I er i stand til at håndtere det øh, bedre generelt. Vi har alle sammen øh, et ansvar over for vores klode, og det gælder som nævnt, både klimamæssigt, men også en række faktorer øh, uden for klimaet. Og øh, vi vil gerne sikre, at med de muligheder, vi giver til, øh, til jer, til alle vores kunder, at de er i stand til at, at træffe de bedst mulige beslutninger. Og det er det, vi blandt andet skal gennemgå i dag. Når I får spørgsmål i, øh, i løbet af webinaret, så skriver I dem bare i chatten. 
Jeg har en kollega, der er produktspecialist inden for det, vi skal kigge på i dag, integrationerne. Det er Jeanette. Hun sidder til dagligt i Norge, men jeg skal spare for hendes norsk, så hun har, hun har lavet en præsentation til os på engelsk, som jeg nu vil afspille. Når præsentationen er færdig, så vender jeg tilbage på din skærm, og så tager vi spørgsmål derfra. Under præsentationen er I meget velkommen til at skrive, dels hvis der skulle være udfordringer med video eller lyd, skriv det i chatten. Og øh, jeg forventer selvfølgelig, at øh, hele teknikken den bare kører, så kan vi nøjes med at spørgsmål i chatten. Rigtig god fornøjelse med de næste cirka 20 minutter, hvor Jeanette, hun vil tage igennem øh, de her automatiseringsmuligheder i bæredygtighedens øh, tegn. Hi, and welcome to today's webinar. Today we will talk about sustainable customizations and how you can automate your business processes. As your business grows and everything around us changes so fast, you need to also change the way you work and the tools you use. A CRM solution needs to support your work processes. So being able to automate and update a solution to fit exactly how you work can make a real difference in how you sell and deliver your product and services. In this webinar, you will learn different ways to customize and automate using macros, CRM scripts, and connect to other systems with Zapier, so you can save time and reduce manual work by automating various business processes. My name is Jeanette, and I work with the customer experience team here at ZipRefice. And my goal is to show you how you can use CRM to build relationships across the entire customer journey and deliver great customer experiences. Now, if you have any questions on how to get started with your processes or CRM strategy, you can send us a message directly by email on social media, or you can reach out on our website. And if you want to see the presentation again, it will also be uploaded to our YouTube channel, where you'll find more tips and inspiration. Let's take a look at the agenda. First, we will talk about why you should use customizations and automations in Superface. Then we will show you different types of automations and how you can integrate Superface with other platforms and data sources. And at the end, we will give you some tips on how to get started. So why use customizations and automations in Superoffice? Superoffice CRM is a standard software made to fit many. And you want a standard software because it offers process support designed to support the most typical work processes and capabilities that work immediately out of the box with no development time and short implementation time. Yet sometimes you need more than what is available as standard. You need customizations. And by customization, we mean configuring, integrating and extending Superoffice so that a customized CRM solution is created to cover the needs of an individual business. So why should you invest in customization? To support individual needs and unique work processes can add capabilities that provide increased internal productivity, efficiency and effectiveness, which may also lead to cost reduction. It will gain capabilities to enhance customer experience and increase your competitive advantage and also increase your ability to digitize and automate business processes across departments and customer facing processes. This all, of course, sounds wonderful. But there's a downside to customizing too. Customizations can be very costly in the short term and even more so in the long term if you're not careful. For example, you do not want customization to prevent you from taking advantage of new developments and updates. And the way to avoid this is through choosing sustainable customizations. But what does sustainable customizations mean? If you ask Google, one of the example is that it's able to be maintained at a certain rate or level. And according to our CPO Gutta Nielsen, sustainability focuses on meeting the needs of the present without compromising the future. And that's very important when we're talking about customizations of a business critical system like your CRM solution. It can't be too complex to maintain or make changes. 
As your business grows, you also need to change the way you work and the tools you use. And a CRM solution that cannot change will quickly become outdated and a hinder to how you wish to work. Not to mention the cost if you need to bring in experts to update or make new customizations before upgrading the system. And when we're talking about customization, we have different set of tools and types of customizations. On the first level, we can make changes with configuration, settings and preferences. And this is done in the admin client inside the solution and are available to everyone using SuperOffice as long as you have admin rights. We can also extend the SuperOffice functionality with automations and workflows using CRM scripts and macros. We can customize screens and layouts. And these customizations are also done in SuperOffice, but usually you need some in-depth product knowledge, or you can book a CRM or technical consultant to set this up for you. And if you're using the cloud version of SuperOffice, you can use standard applications from our App Store, like Zapier, for example, to connect SuperOffice to other systems and automate your processes. Alternatively, if you can't find a standard app, there are possibilities with our API, and you can also develop your own integrations and applications that work together with SuperOffice. And all customizations created with these tools are automatically deployed and operated on the platform, ensuring your customizations are sustainable and robust over time. So let's see some different examples of how you can automate tasks and processes in SuperOffice that will help you to save time and will make you more productive. And the first example is CRM script. CRM script is a feature that allows you to automate tasks in or modify the behavior of SuperOffice. A script is a small program written to perform specific tasks and requires programming skills to set it up. And this is something our consultants or partners can help you with. And here are some examples of what you can do with CRM script. You can customize your workflows and automation. Scripts are a great way of automating processes in smart ways. For example, you can use CRM script to service your customers better and faster and save time by setting up if this then that workflows to optimize your service processes. We can validate input. If you want to make sure users enter correct data, even in user-defined fields, or to block save if essential fields haven't been filled out. Like for example, do not save company if the AT number is missing. Serum scripts lets you intercept, parse, and take action to reduce errors and improve data quality. You can also dynamically update content. You can, for example, change the available items in a drop-down menu based on what the user has already selected in another field. And we can run code in response to certain events on a website. For example, what should happen when a new ticket is registered or a sale is confirmed. For example, here we can create sales opportunity when a lead fills out a form on the website. And scripts can run based on triggers, like a certain event in the system will trigger one or more predefined actions. Or they can be scheduled at specific times. Here's an example of how a CRM script workflow can look like. This workflow is triggered when a new person is created in SuperOffice. Then we will wait one day and then a welcome email is sent from service where the customer can reply back and that creates a request in SuperOffice. Then a follow-up with a predefined text is created in the account manager's diary. And after three days, a second email with onboarding tips is sent. And seven days after a person is created in the system, an email with tips and resources is sent. And every 30 days, a follow-up is added, reminding the account manager to call and check in with the customer. And here's another example. When the customer category is changed to approved customer, 
this automatically creates a project. It will send out an email called project launch. It will also add a reminder to update project details. Then it will fetch project hours from a spreadsheet using an integration like DataBridge. And those details are merged into an email, a project report that is sent to the customer. And CRM scripts offer many possibilities within SuperOffice, and it's a great tool for building more complex workflows if you have the technical skills. But we also have other options that still require a good overview of SuperOffice, but there's no need for scripting knowledge. Like, for example, macros. A macro is the user-friendly version of a CRM script, and you're able to customize and automate actions inside SuperOffice with an easy-to-use wizard that will help you set up your macros. Like you see in this step-by-step -step example here. It's a set of predefined actions executed in a specific order, and you don't need extensive knowledge about scripting to create macros. And macros have a number of functions in SuperOffice. They can be linked to specific triggers in the system, such as escalations or a new message on a request in SuperOffice service, or it can be assigned to buttons in defined screens so that users can click a button to perform a set of actions that are often repeated. And this makes users work faster and they avoid unnecessary clicking. For example, you can use macros as a task or a function in your menu point, such as in actions in the request screen, or adding a button on the company card. Also, when a request is escalated via the warning levels for priority, it can be as a planned task, or when they're activated by an email filter, like if support is mentioned in the email, the request is automatically set to the support category. Another example is when a recipient clicks a tracked link in a mailing. Let's take a look at some examples in SuperOffice. In this demo, we will take a look at macros and how it's set up inside the admin client first, so we get an understanding of what we can do with macros. We'll go to settings and maintenance. And you will find CRM script and macros here. And this is the same if you're working in service. So you will find CRM script under system design as well. So we can take a look at the different options we have when creating a new macro. We can give it a name folder and description, even add it to a menu, like in SuperOffice Service. But we'll take a look at the actions. From here, we can add project members, create a sale. We can add a request, or we can load a company or contact and merge that into a reply template when we're sending an email. And we will show you an example of this uh, in a demo shortly. Now let's go back. In the first macro, we've created so we can move a request to the invoice department. And this macro only has one step, which is change the request. But we can still set up different actions within this step. So let's edit the script so we can see how this is set up. And we've set up this macro because many companies often receive requests relating to invoicing. And such requests should go straight to the accounts department. Instead of editing every request and changing category and owner, we can then create a macro that performs all these actions. So here we have to find first that the category will change to administration and finance. We will set an owner automatically assigned. We will also add an internal message to the team and reply to the customer at the same time. Now let's take a look at how this looks like in SuperOffice Service.
let's find a request. We can go to support, open a request. And this is a customer that have sent a message through a web form. So you can see here, we have an owner, we have a category that's set to support. And if we click the action menu, we've added the macro here. So if we click move to invoices, it will trigger the macro. And now we can see that we have a new owner on the request. We've set the category to administration finance. We've added an internal message to the team and we've sent the message to the customer. So this helps us work faster and deliver a great customer experience. Now let's take a look at another example. Let's go to macros and scripts again. And in this example, we will see how we can create an appointment from a web form when a customer fills this out. And as you can see here, we have several steps compared to the first example. So when a form is filled out, a new appointment is created in CRM with phone out, with a new title, company and contact connected, a salesperson, and in X amount of days with a set time and duration. And as we can see here, we have more steps. So we will load a contact. We will load a reply template for merging, which is a predefined template, an HTML template. And then we will send that as an email. Now let's see how this works when we start filling out the form. So let's uh, use John Smith as an example, and he wants a personalized demo. I'll just add an email address, a phone number, a company name, give my consent and submit the form. Let's see how this looks like in SuperOffice. We can go to activities and here you will see we have the phone out activity. And here you will see you have the predefined text. It's connected to the right company and contact and one hour of duration. We'll also find the same follow-up in my diary as the sales contact. And the customer has also received an email where we've used the predefined text. We've also used template variables to personalize the email so that it merges with the contact's name. And hopefully John will respond and book the meeting so that we can give him a that personalized demo. And now let's take a look at how we can integrate and automate with other platforms or data sources. And for that, we can use the apps in the Superface App Store. The Superface App Store showcases amazing apps and helps you extend functionality and discover new possibilities with the cloud version of SuperOffice CRM. And we have over 120 apps in our App Store, and you can enjoy apps that will help you increase your productivity, customize your CRM solution, and offer a better online experience. And one of these is the Zapier integration. And Zapier is an online automation tool that connects your favorite apps, such as Gmail, Slack, MailChimp, with SuperOffice, for example. And using the Zapier service, a subscriber can connect and move data between the many business applications that are available in the Zapier directory. And the best thing about this is that it's simple, no-code approach, which makes automation accessible to everyone. You can automate your workflows and reduce your task lists by connecting SuperOffice CRM with your other web applications allowing them to work together on repetitive tasks so you can focus on the more important stuff. And it also ensures data consistency 
and improve data quality. And this is ideal for smaller scale integrations and simpler automations. And there's no programming involved and comes with a lightweight if this, then that instructions. And Zapier works by pushing data between your applications through a trigger and action process called a SAP. You select a trigger, an event in one application, which will then instigate a chosen event or an action in another application. And the process works through an if this then that ontology. And like I mentioned, the trigger and action process that moves data between applications is called a SAP. And Zapier subscribers are able to either create their own SAPs or use pre-made ones. So to create a SAP, users select a trigger to set off a chosen action. Or you can use pre-made SAPs called SAP templates that are predefined workflows between selected applications. Now let's jump in and check out some different examples with SuperOffice and Zapier. Now in this demo, we will start by looking at the App Store, which you can find in this menu here. You will also find a link on our website. So let's search for Zapier. And here you will find more details about the integration. You will find a video and more photos of different examples. You can read about the different triggers and actions. And in addition, we can use SAP templates so you don't need to start from scratch. And you can see some examples here. But let's take a look at the Zapier site to see what we can do with SuperOffice and other apps. So we'll click sign up and this will redirect you to the Zapier site. So here we can find more information on how to connect SuperOffice CRM to other apps. We can search or pick one of your favorite apps from this list by browsing. And here we can find different predefined workflows or templates. We can send a Slack channel message for new SuperOffice leads. We can, for example, create a new board in Trello when a new company is created in SuperOffice. So these are suggested workflows that are already set up, so it's easy to get started. We could also see supported triggers and actions if you want to build your own steps. So here we have new appointment, if a document is changed, it can be triggered when a new contact is added to SuperOffice, for example. And you can also load more to see all the actions and triggers. But to give you an idea of how the Zapier integration works and how we can build our own, let's take a look at one of the steps we've already made. And as you can see here, we have different steps set up, but we will take this as an example, the project sale. So here we have different steps and the trigger, the first trigger starts when a sale is changed in SuperOffice. So if we open set up trigger, we can see that trigger when sales status changed to sold. But we will only continue if the sale contains a specific type. So if the sales type contains framework agreement, the set will continue. If not, Nothing will happen. Then we will create a project in SuperOffice. So here we will add the company name and the sales title as a new title in the project. We will add the same sales contact that was responsible for the sale as the owner of the project. And we will set the project type to framework agreement. We will also preset a status as planning stage and we'll set an end date which is the sales date plus three years which is the standard of the agreement and then we'll also add the amount and the currency from the sale 
then we'll add a project member in the project. So we will add the contact name connected to the sale. And we will add a project member type, which is the role. And it will have the role of the client administrator and project manager. And then we want to update the company in Superless. And we want to change the category to customer A. In addition, we also want a checkbox checked, which is called framework agreement. Then we want to connect this app to other apps like Slack. So we want to send a message to a specific channel with a message, pulling in the company name and the amount and a project link. And then finally, we will create a spreadsheet row in Google Sheets. And this will fetch different details from the sale or project. Now let's see how this looks like when we go back to Superoffice. And here we can see the category is set to customer B and currently does not have the framework agreement checked. Now let's go to a sale. And there we can see the owner, the sales type is framework agreement. Now let's change this and set it to sold. And this has triggered the step. So now we have a new project. And this has taken the company and the name of the sale in the title. The responsible is still Christian. And the type is now set to framework agreement. The status is planning. And we've also set an end date which is the sales date plus three years. And also the value, the amount from the sale. And a new project member is added as well. And this is the client administrator or project manager. So if we go to the company, you will now see that the categories change to customer A and the framework agreement is checked. Now we can check Slack and we can see that the Superbot has published a message saying that this company has just signed a deal worth the amount from the sale. And the project is created in Superoffice and it will also add a link to that specific project in Superoffice. And finally, let's check the spreadsheet. And as you can see here, all the details from the sale is added. And we can also see the sales date when it's updated and who's responsible for the sale. And this can be used for external reporting. It can be used for accounting, or if you want to use the data in another system that Zapier currently doesn't support. And this is just one of many examples of what we can do with the Zapier integration by pushing data and building workflows between other apps and Superoffice. Now in summary, a macro is a set of predefined actions that run in a specific order and that you can set up without programming skills. A script is a small program written to perform specific tasks, which requires programming skills, often with the help of our consultants and partners. And these are also based on triggers and actions, but inside Superoffice or between modules such as between service and sales. And we can set up the system to send out email or SMS, for example, but it's not intended to move data or perform actions against other applications. And Zapier is, as we have just talked about, an opportunity to automate, connect apps and create workflows between systems.
And there are many possibilities, and you will also find more standard apps that our partners offer in the App Store. And data flow between systems, for example, is often a more complex integration, but is offered with simple standardized apps instead of heavy, expensive integrations that one often had to resort to in the past. You can find many ready-made integrations with the most popular ERP systems, or you can try DataBridge, a generic integration tool that lets you set up and schedule automatic data transfers between Supervisor and CRM and any other cloud solution you might use. And this is truly one of the great benefits of being in the cloud and using Superoffice Online. So now to the question of how to get started. If you want to automate tasks or modify the behavior of Superoffice like we've seen today, you need more than what is available out of the box. And for those instances, we have development tools, which contains a range of tools and add-ons you can use to create customizations, of your Superoffice CRM solution. And previously known as Expander Services, the developer tool subscription gives you access to tools like macros, scripting, the configurable screen capability, extra tables, and custom screens for service, a development sandbox environment, as well as the ability to add custom apps to your solution. And to use the Zapier integration, you will need a Superoffice CRM online subscription and a Zapier account. But note that the Zapier has a free basic account, but some of the applications require a payable subscription for you to connect to, and there are limits to the number of users, SAPs, and action you can use with the free account. But you may start off and try it for free. And to use this integration, there is no need for a developer tools subscription, and you can find more info on our App Store, and you can also sign up directly on the Zapier site. And as we've shown in this presentation, there are a lot of exciting things you can do to customize and automate your CRM solution. So what's next? First, you should define your customization needs, and then outline your customization strategy and tools, such as, for example, Zapier, or using developer tools and macros and scripting. Then you can try and set up these automations yourself via Zapier. Or you can get help from our consultants and partners to customize the CRM solution to fit your specific need and work processes. And of course, your Superoffice representative is more than happy to provide you with more information about developer tools and the possibilities with macros and CRM scripts. And if you want to learn more about Superoffice and today's topic, here are some tips. First of all, you can always view this presentation again or share it with your colleagues. Uh, the webcast will be uploaded on our YouTube channel and website. And if you want to learn more on sustainable customizations, we also did a webinar on how to customize Superoffice to fit your needs, which is also available on our channel. And then we've also released a new help center and community, which is an all-in-one hub for all your customer support and self-help needs. We've updated and improved the design, the login experience, the search capabilities, and website structure. And here you will find learning materials such as how-to guides, videos, tips, best practices, and training options. You also find support and FAQs, a section for product and updates, and new customer forums where you can ask and answer questions. And if you want to learn more about how to get started with macros and CRM scripts, we have more info in our technical section there for those who are interested. In addition, our CRM consultants will be happy to help you with configuration workshops, design implementations, training, and much more. And your super of a sales contact or partner will be available to answer any additional questions you might have and to help you obtain access to the developer tools. Now that's all we have for now. Thank you for following along. We hope you got some inspiration to customize your CRM solution and automate workflows for increased internal productivity, efficiency, and effectiveness. 
I wish you all a super day. Velkommen til Bage. Jeg håber I alle fik en masse gode ting med fra Jeanettes indlæg. Det er simpelthen uh, utroligt, uh, hvor meget hun kan nå, og uh, ikke en eneste spørgsmål, så hun må have dækket det uh, rimelig godt. Uh, det er i hvert fald sådan, jeg, jeg antager det. I er stadig velkomne til at skrive uh, spørgsmål over i chatten, så tager vi dem uh, lige om lidt. De ting, hun nævner, er blandt andet uh, vores App Store, som I kan finde uh, her. Så er der vores Community, som I kan finde. Og så er der vores øvrige arrangementer, vores webinar, vores erfemøder og så videre, som vi holder. Og der kan I gå på superoffice.dk-events og allerede tilmelde, tilmelde jer til en masse gode muligheder.